I've seen this city grow and flourish in that time, and I genuinely enjoy living here. I enjoy the quality of life here. Uh, a few years ago, I looked at buying a condo out in some of the suburbs, and the key reason I stayed here had little or nothing to do with taxes, which, quite frankly, when I did the math on it, turned out to be roughly a wash when I balanced income taxes with property taxes and all of that. What kept me here was the quality of life in, the, in this city and the increasing quality of that life. Um, and I worry that these severe budget cuts would uh, damage that quality of life in a way that would make this a less desirable place to live and would reverse many of the gains that I see in this time. Um, I'm not subject to the tax increase that the mayor is proposing, but like many people in this room, I think that's the bare minimum. And I would support the tax increases that others are proposing that would, in fact, affect me. Um, you know, until this campaign came along, I didn't even know that the highest tax bracket in the city is $40,000. And when I heard that, it, you know, it just, it just didn't make sense to me. And now to be talking about slashing services to the most vulnerable among us uh, is, is anathema to everything that all the values I grew up with and all the values that I was taught. Um, you know, as, as someone who grew up in the Jewish community and is greatly influenced by Jewish ethical and moral values, I believe I'm a member of a community and I have a responsibility to help support that community. And so to turn to me and others like me and to ask me to pay a little bit more so that we can afford not to slash these services is more than reasonable. Um, I'm not going to lie and tell you I'd like to pay more taxes. I don't think anybody would like to pay more taxes. But if it's a choice between slashing services to the most vulnerable and damaging this community that I cherish so much, and asking me to pay a little more, ask me to pay a little more and I will. And I came today because the whole debate that's going on both in the city and federally over the tension between raising taxes and cutting services is one that's going in a direction that I find morally offensive and economically myopic, which is to say that there's such a focus on cutting taxes and particularly cutting taxes or not raising taxes on those who can most afford it and as a result slashing programs, slashing services, slashing budgets where it's really needed by those who need it the most, whether it's social services, whether it's infrastructure, whether it's the types of things that support uh, creating a city that is a good place to live. Um, you know, and what this meeting with Mary Che enabled me to do was really do something about that feeling um, and to really come out and support JOFJ's position on this, which is that we need a balance and we need to raise taxes rather than cut services uh, and that we are against balancing the budget on the backs of programs and services and people who can least afford it. I, I thought the meeting went fairly well, um, but I think it's important that she heard from us, and I certainly feel good that I and, and many of my neighbors and many of the members of JOFJ were able to make her see that, you know, we are people who are potentially affected by these higher taxes, and we would be willing to pay those higher taxes rather than see these services slashed. Um, and. You know, it's it, this. This is one of the key reasons that I support JOFJ. I think you know, I think there, there's no other Jewish organization here in the city that does this type of thing, and that is in a position to do this type of thing.